This is your WMDX Daily News Roundup for Mad Radio 92.7 FM and 1580 AM in Madison. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. Three people are due in a Madison courtroom September 19th to face felony charges connected to the 2020 fake presidential electors scheme in Wisconsin. State Attorney General Josh Call suggests more people could still be charged. I'm not going to comment on specific individuals, but what I can say is that this this is an ongoing investigation and our decisions are going to be based on those facts and what the best interests of justice show. Call says the decision to charge now has nothing to do with this year's election. The decisions we make are, are not based on external factors like the ones you mentioned. They're, they're based on our judgment about how we can most effectively uh, pursue the interests of justice in this case. Kenneth Chesbro, Jim Trupas, and Mike Roman are due in a Madison courtroom on September 19th. Four Democratic and 22 Republican incumbents in the Wisconsin Assembly will face primary challengers under new district maps. That's according to an analysis by WISP Politics. The Republicans facing primary challengers include Assembly Speaker Robin Voss and Joint Finance Committee co-chair Mark Bourne. Democrats are running candidates in all 16 state Senate races in November and 97 of 99 Assembly seats. Republicans turned in papers in 11 Senate seats and 84 Assembly districts. The National Weather Service now confirms an EF-1 tornado touched down east of Mount Horeb May 21st. There's no word as to why the confirmation took so long. The latest twister is the 24th to hit Wisconsin so far this year. Local leaders in Wisconsin support tighter emission standards for vehicles in the U.S. starting in two years. Pamela Guthman is a member of the Chippewa County Board and a registered nurse. These EPA standards are necessary to decrease the harmful particulate matter to save lives of our children, grandchildren, and community members right here in Eau Claire and throughout Wisconsin. The new EPA standards for cars and light trucks start with model year 2027. Portraits and classic films featuring Smokey the Bear will be on display in Rhinelander the first week in July. The collection of original artwork by Smokey's artist Rudolph Wendelin comes from the USDA archives in Washington, D.C. It's part of National Forest Week celebrations in northern Wisconsin. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Here's what you need to know closer to home. This is news from WMDX Madison. I'm Savannah Tomei Olson. Parents of students at Southside Elementary want the principal and assistant principal out. 66 people signed a complaint that was sent to the district. It alleges bullying claims aren't taken seriously, parents aren't listened to, safety procedures aren't followed, and black and brown boys face harsher discipline than their white peers. Current and former staff say school administrators were retaliating against teachers who made complaints, specifically naming the principal and assistant principal. At a school board meeting, one former third grade teacher said they've never seen anything like it. People were coming to me daily recounting really shocking stories. Um, I've been an educator for 10 years and have never experienced such a toxic workplace. An MMSD spokesperson confirms they're going to use an outside investigator to look into the problem. They're in the process of hiring one now. Madison will be sending police officers to assist with the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. The Cap Times reports 85 Madison officers will assist with crowd management, motorcades, mounted patrols, and SWAT situations. Assistant Chief Matt Tai is leading that team. He says with large protests expected, their main focus is preventing people from getting hurt. Special officers have already been doing training exercises with Milwaukee Police and the Wisconsin National Guard. The Republican National Convention is July 15th through 18th. The Beltline was shut down yesterday because a car was on fire. Madison police say they responded to an accident and that's when the car went up in flames. One person was hurt. Traffic backed up in both directions, but this was in the westbound lane, so they were closed for about an hour. The person hurt was taken to the hospital. It's Medicare Fraud Prevention Week throughout Wisconsin. Ingrid Kundinger, Wisconsin Senior Medicare Patrol Manager, says checking statements and being wary of people who call on the phone are two important ways to avoid Medicare fraud. We want people to know that anyone could be impacted by Medicare fraud. And check in on your loved ones on Medicare. And that's what you need to know. I'm Savannah Tomei Olson. This is WMDX News. The Philadelphia Phillies defeat the Milwaukee Brewers in extra innings. For Civic Media Sports, I'm Jimmy Kuska. It took 10 innings, but Philadelphia was able to defeat the Brewers 2-1 to one thanks to this walk-off hit in the 10th inning. Line drive Game, to baby. Right field. He is the hero! A 
one hop off the wall. Here comes Merrifield, and the Phils will win it. In the bottom of the 10th inning, Nick Castellanos, an RBI double, two to one Phils. That call courtesy of NBC Sports Philadelphia. Manager Pat Murphy said that the Brewers had their opportunities but couldn't get the big hit in a tough loss. We had opportunities. We didn't get the ball in the air one time. We didn't make contact in the outfield a couple times, and uh, you know we had opportunities to take the lead. The Brewers and Phillies wrap up their three-game series this afternoon as Milwaukee tries to avoid the sweep. The Green Bay Packers' off-season workouts continue. Head coach Matt LaFleur says the team right now has a good vibe going about it as they get ready for the 2024 season. I'm really pleased with kind of where we're at right now um, in terms of not only the the cohesion on the field, but also off the field. I think every time we step in the meeting rooms, there's been great energy, great interaction with the guys. I think that's part of the process is is just how we can come together. And I think that's a great part of the offseason. Quarterback Jordan Love says that the offseason workouts have been productive and that the team is in a great spot right now. Just having everybody here right now at this time is is very cool because you just build those relationships and get closer with guys and get to go out there and work and compete with them every day. So um, I think this team's in an awesome spot right now. For Civic Media Sports, I'm Jimmy Kuska. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. Insights into Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez's troubles have really ramped up. People.com says an exclusive source, whatever that means, said the couple supposedly on the outs attended Affleck's son's basketball game, adding that it's an encouraging sign. After the game, however, Lopez was later seen at the grocery store, but without coupons. One fellow shopper who was waiting to buy lottery tickets and prepared to use a personal check thought the look on Lopez's face indicated she missed Ben. Later that evening, the power couple attended an all-you-can-eat buffet at Golden Corral, where Affleck barely touched his salad, which was comprised mostly of croutons, according to one hefty eater on his way back for a third helping. We'll keep you posted if we hear more from random sources. Bad Boys 4, semicolon, yes, 4, hits theaters June 6th. The film stars once-likable actors Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. The story is predictable and cliche, and I give it two thumbs down. I will give more details after I see the film. In already a famous actor but need even more attention news, Alec Baldwin has announced that he and his wife, Hilaria, will be front and center on a new reality show with their seven kids. The controversial 67-year-old actor and his 40-year-old wife are opening their home to camera crews from TLC for some reality. The show will be called The Baldwins. Most of these reality shows are pretty scripted, but if Baldwin punches one of the cameramen, we'll know it's real. Compared to other streaming services, HBO is still a decent deal with pretty good programming. Because of that, they will raise their prices for ad-free entertainment like other platforms. Warner Brothers Discovery says they will bump the price by $1 a month to $16.99 for programming without commercials. There are a ton of other plans you can choose from on HBO, and one is more confusing than the next. Sometimes passion for one's art is so pure, even a life-threatening car accident can't keep one from their dreams. Actress and native Wisconsinite Marissa Bodie is set to make her feature film debut in the motion picture Wicked, based on the Broadway play. Bodie hails from Mazomany, Wisconsin. She has been acting since she was eight years old and got her start at a Madison Children's Theater. In 2011, she was involved in a life-altering car accident on the way to rehearsal, leaving her paralyzed from the waist down. But the incident did not keep Bodie down. She went on to earn a theater degree in college. Wicked is told from the point of view of the Wicked Witch in The Wizard of Oz. Bodhi plays Nessa Rose, the witch's younger sister. Part one of the film will hit theaters in November of this year. Part two is scheduled to hit theaters in November of 2025. Not only did Bodhi overcome incredible odds and land a role in a major motion picture, this is her feature film debut. Way to go, Marissa. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Pete Schwamba, weeknights from 7 to 9 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. We have a slight chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm by late this afternoon. Otherwise, mostly sunny, a little breezy today with a high of 77. The wind west at 15 to 25. Tonight, mostly clear, 56. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, breezy, cooler. Our high tomorrow, 71. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Right now, it's 64. That's your WMDX Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at mad.radio.